Hey guys, and welcome to our Shores of Gold Tall Tale Guide. This has been long awaited, but we're finally bringing it to you. So, to start the Tall Tale, what you're going to want to do is come over to Morrow's Peak Outpost. You're going to want to make your way up to the tavern, and just outside the tavern, if you come down the steps, you will see Grace. Just to the right on her cart, there is the Tall Tale book. Just vote on it and you started the tool tale. So once you finish listening to her talk, you will get the shroud breaker equipped to your ship. The shroud breaker is going to allow you to pass through the Red Sea unharmed and you just need to head over to Y3 to the Shores of Gold. Once you start entering the Red Sea, you will hear this music start playing and eventually the shroud breaker will activate its power and it will start glowing. It will almost create a force field around the front of the ship, protecting it from any kind of damage. You will also see the Shores of Gold from quite a fair distance and that's where you need to head towards. When you're coming into the Shores of Gold, we recommend you park around the north side of the island in the bay. This is because to do a part of the tall tale, you're going to need to shoot onto a certain part of the island. So before we even get started with the actual tall tale, we're going to be aiming to shoot onto one of these statues. This is because for the one of the very last steps, you're going to need to go through a tunnel which is below the statue. So what you want to do is you want to aim for the very leftmost statue and shoot onto it. As you can see, I nearly made it, but I might be able to sword lunge over to it. So once you get onto the statue, you're going to want to go just down the tunnel and there will be a lever which you need to pull in order to open up this door. Now for the first step of the tall tale, you're going to want to head to the very south side of the island. So you're just going to want to go straight on from where the statues are and follow this stony path. Then you're going to take a left around these rocks towards that big pillar over there. Once you reach about here, you're going to actually take a left towards this smaller rock. And just on the right, on the other side of it, you're going to see this statue here. You're going to want to pull the lever and it will open up. Keep in mind the symbol you see. As you can see here, I have got the shark. This is going to be used later on in the tool tale. So now you're going to open up your book and keep changing pages until you see a picture of the island. As you can see here on the left page, you are currently at the X marks the spot near her ship. You're going to want to head to the very far south towards the vault. As you can see, it's marked by a shark. Go to the left side of the rock. And as you can see here, this is the Southern Vault. As you can see on the right page, these are the clues you're going to be using to solve the vault. So what you're going to want to do is come in here, light the braziers and get started. It's going to be very, very similar to the first thing you did in the Shroud Breaker. So, as you can see here, we have an arrow, a kraken, a feather and a boar. You're going to want to turn the blocks so you can see the symbols in the first circle. So as you can see here, I've got an arrow. There may be more than one on each block, but you just need to figure it out, I guess. <laughs> there we go. One of them won't turn. And then on the last one, I either have a feather or a kraken. And there we go, I have a kraken. Now, for the second one, I have a boat, an eagle, a mermaid and a snake. There's the mermaid, there's the boat, which I went past again. This one doesn't turn, and then I need a snake or an eagle. There we go. For the last one, I have a, a scarab, a turtle, a warrior, and a kraken. There's the scarab, or there's the turtle rather. There's the scarab. This one doesn't turn, so it has to be a kraken or a warrior. There's the Kraken, enter solution, and it will reveal the Shark Medallion. You just need to keep this in a safe place that you can remember, as this is going to be one of four medallions you need to get from one, four, one of four of the vaults. So keep it safe, 
uh, you'll come back to this later. I'm going to leave the medallion at the bottom of the main rocks as you're going to have to go down a tunnel just to the right later with all of the medallions. So I'm going to leave it just here. Next up, we are going to do the Eastern Vault. As you can see, it is marked by the Warrior. Now, as you can see, we are at the very bottom of the rock on the left page. We just need to go behind it through this tunnel and out on the other side, we should see a vault. So we keep going straight around this path. We're going to go straight towards this big tree. As you can see, I've just dropped down this ledge from where the tree is. And this is the Eastern Vault over here. As you head towards it, you will see the warrior sign on the right, which indicates this is the Eastern Vault. You need to head down into it and you're going to be completing another riddle. You're going to walk in and right in front of you at the very top of the wall, you're going to see a picture of a key. You're going to put the image of this key into these blocks. So turn over to page 14. And as you can see, the picture of the key is on the very far right. This is how you're going to want to put it into the blocks. So as you can see, we're going to need a circle just there. Then a line with a bit of the key below it could be that looks like it's going to be that then sort of an M looking thing like that and then the dot just like that you are done from this you will get the warrior medallion same thing as last time put it in a safe place that you can come back to as you can see I'm going to place a medallion next to the shark medallion Next up, we're going to be completing the northernmost vault, probably one of the most dangerous. However, it's a lot easier than the western, which is why we've left that for last. So make your way back to the infamous tree that we were just at and drop down this ledge. This time you're going to go to the left. You will see this big spike over here. This is what you're going to head to. So running up the hill, you're going to see a gap in the rocks just here. You're going to want to head through here and it is also marked by a kraken on the rock just to the right. For this one, as you can see in the book, always four of the same but had to tread carefully. This is because traps are going to be popping up uh, every so often, well pretty often actually. So you're going to have to be very careful and slow with this one. But each four of the blocks have the same image which you need to put it on so if there's an eagle on all four you're gonna have to go eagle 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 and same for the rest of the images okay okay snake 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 okay so it looks like we're doing snake on all of them one more time nice here we go is it that is it the three people I think it's three people. It is. It is. Okay. So it's the three people. There we go. Oh, you only have to do it twice. I thought you have to do it three times. Never mind. Well, there we go. <laughs> and now you will have the Kraken Medallion. For this one, I actually recommend just going towards the southwest and going towards this ladder. This is because this is the vault where you need to actually put all of the four medallions in. So you might as well go towards it now rather than going all the way over to where your other medallions are and having to run it back. So once you get up here, you can either go and put it into the vault now or you can just leave it here. I'm going to go and put it in the vault now so I don't have to come back for it. So just follow the sand path round, take a right, then take a left in towards this cave, 
And as you will see, there are four places where you can put the medallions. So I'm just going to place it in there now, just so I don't have to worry about it later. Now, lastly, the western cave, the, uh, the most annoying one. Now, as you can see on the map, there are four question marks. And if you remember, we were at the ship on the very far south of the island earlier, and that's where I got my shark symbol. Now, you see the three question marks that are remaining. You need to go to these locations, and there should be a pressure pad or a puzzle which you need to solve in order to get an image. These are also going to be needed to put into a totem to, to complete the western vault. So, as you can see, we're over by the Kraken at the moment. So the closest one is actually over here. It's not rendered in, but there is a pressure pad just there on the tip of that rock. So that's where we're going to head over to. Don't break your legs. It's not good for your health. So you're going to follow the sand up. And just on the right on this rock, there is a pressure pad. You're going to stand on it and just in the water to your southeast. Something's going to pop up. Just take out your spyglass and note down the symbol. So that's a kraken. So now if I go back to my tool tale book, I have the shark and the kraken. Now, it's saying that there should be a symbol over this way. So we're going to sword lunge back and head in that direction. So the pressure pad is actually just up there. Sadly, they've actually made this island shortcut proof. So you can't actually get up there without going all the way around the island again. So you're going to have to go all the way back to where your medallions are. So you're going to want to follow the path around again from where your medallions were or where my medallions were. You might not have stored them here. Keep following it round under this leafy underhang. Uh, then take a right. Just here is another pressure pad. It's going to open up something in the ground just over there. Sadly, it doesn't render in from here. Because it's on the other side of the pillar. You're going to have to sword lunge or walk. However you want to get there. <laughs> over there, it's going to slowly sink into the water. But you'll get there in time to see what the image is. And as you can see here, I have a turtle. Now lastly, as you can see, the last question mark is on the very northwest side of the island. Back over by our ship. So if you really wanted to, I would recommend this if you have any fire bombs or some blunder bombs on you. Just, you know, just ending yourself so you can go and respawn back at your ship. Because this is going to save you about 10 hours of travelling time. Now, once you spawn on your ship, just turn to the right. The clue is over by this rock behind me, over by these pillars. Just make your way over towards the pillars and in the ground there will be a little little steps which reveal nothing so you're going to have to go and pull the lever if i can remember where it is just on your left on the staircase and you need to get a good angle on it but it's going to point you to one of these statues are they statues one of these statues and as you can see just on the front left that statue is what i need to go up to and just on this, standing on the pressure plate, releases another symbol. And as you can see, this is fire. So, to recap, what have we got? We got the kraken, the turtle, the shark, and the fire. So now we need to head over to the very western vault, which is just over here at this big rock. So you want to run past the big statues towards the rock. The entrance to the vault is on the back left side from where we are viewing it. Run past this tree and just on the right there is going to be the entrance into the vault marked with a boat. Now, just drop down here. And on this one, you're just going to have to light the braziers and put in the four symbols. Once you light the brazier, an image will show up in the table and they have dots in the middle of them. The dots indicate which pillar each of the images need to be inputted. So as you can see, for number one, I got the kraken. For number two, I got the shark in this location, number three I got the turtle, and pillar number four, I just got the fire. 
So, Kraken, Shark, Turtle, Fire. Kraken, Shark, <laughs> Turtle, and lastly, Fire. Enter the solution and you've unlocked the last medallion. Go up and collect your medallion. And now we're going to be heading all the way back to that vault where we put in the Kraken medallion. So the path to the vault where you have to go and enter all four medallions is very simple, but it's just quite a long winded way. And this is the only real way to do it, unless you want to go around the other side of it and go up that ladder like you did the Kraken. You're just going to follow the sand path around and just keep following it around until you come to a bridge. But I'm going to show you small steps along the way on how I got there. So once again, you're going to want to go through this leafy underhang towards the tree, which we know and love from the past two vaults. And this time we're going to go round to the left rather than dropping off the edge. We will pass a book on the left just here, which is probably worth reading as it goes towards the commendations for completing the tool tale. Keep following the stone path around and you'll come to these rocks and just below the rocks there is a wooden bridge which you need to cross. Just keep going straight and follow the sandy path round. Then take a left. And take a right. Keep following the sandy path. Then you take a left and you're back at the vault. Now I hope you've memorised that because we're going to have to do this two more times and I'm not going to waste your time by showing you again. From this you will get the golden key which you need to go and enter in that tunnel which you unlocked at the very beginning by the statue's head. And remember it's the very leftmost statue. Now go towards the base of it and in you go, enter the key, this door's going to open. Now you're on to the, one of the final stages. You just want to carefully make your way down without killing yourself. You're going to want to carefully make your way down without killing yourself. A bit like Art of the Trickster, this contains some of the traps. So you're just going to want to make a left turn down here and go through these traps. Post editor Cameron here. I, this video would end up being 25 plus minutes long so I'm actually just going to skip all of these steps what you need to do is just complete all the traps complete the waves of skeletons and eventually you will get to the shores of gold room where you need to fight the gold hoarder so you're just going to want to pull this lever over here once you pull it, the gate will open. Still making sure not to step on any pressure pads, you're going to want to go through it. Follow the pathways around, and you'll be greeted by this room. You just need to lift up the anchor again. It's going to lower this drawbridge. Make your way across. And now... There he is. The Gold Hoarder himself. Time for battle. Time for battle, lads. Bravo 6, going dark. Okay, so once you kill the gold hoarder, the pirate legend is going to spawn and he's going to give you a little chat. So just sit back and watch. So when he disappears, just take a left and you're going to be going through this doorway. Well, now you have completed the tool tale and it's up to you what you want to do with the skull. I'm going to go and sell it to the Order of Souls. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and uh, have fun sailing.